New Hampshire. Nice. What's up, homie? Hey, wow, wide awake, as per usual, I see. You wanna hear someone wake you up, bro? No. All right, whatever. I asked Kelly Moss to come to Barbie's party with us on Saturday. And? Oh, she said no. Pretty much right away, too. It was really embarrassing. Nice. But it doesn't matter, because look, I'm saying forget Barnaby's party and we'll just get trashed at my place. Same thing every weekend, dude, whatever. I don't care. Wow, I thought you'd go for something like that, dude. You're exceptionally grumpy today. Why am I even Listen, dude, you shut it. All right, Dr. Ramirez has been on my case about this communication concepts project for like a week or two. Okay, she hates me. She genuinely. Man. All right, wide awake, as per usual, I see. You remember saying I'm gonna wake you up? I asked Kelly, Kelly Moss, Moss to go to Barnaby's with you on whoa. Saturday. Whoa, yeah, whoa. Dude, how'd you know that? Was she talking about me or something? Oh my god, dude. This is weird. This is so weird. What's weird, dude? What, what the hell is wrong with you? Dude, I think I had a dream about the future last night. Or something. What are you talking about? All right. I had a dream, and when I woke up, everything that happened in that dream happened in real life. The guy said he likes my shoes, the skateboarder fell, and now you're here talking about Kelly Moss and Barnaby's. You're making absolutely no sense. That's... that's because it doesn't make any sense, Jeff. Dude, it's probably like deja vu or something. Don't go crazy. She said no. Kelly Moss said no. She doesn't want to go to Barnaby's with you, so now you don't want to go. You got pissy, and you just want to drink at your house. Hey, I'm not pissy. But all right, it's kind of weird that you know that. New Hampshire. Look at that, Jeff. That's a New Hampshire quarter. New Hampshire. Now, how would I know that this New Hampshire quarter will be lying here in this spot Tail side up. I would only know that if I could see the future. Likely story, dude. You probably just said it out here before you went to the library. I said, dude, I don't care if you believe me or not, all right? I know it's the truth. All right, okay, what happens next then? What? What happens next? You got it all the way up till now, so then what happens next? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happens next. How convenient. Listen, dude, this isn't all in my head. I'm not buying it, dude. I don't know, man. Alright, like... 
I remember sneezing, and then I wake up again. Sneezing. Your magical dream ended with a sneeze. That's just ridiculous. You know, I thought it was weird before, but now I know it's weird. Dude, how much are you gonna snort? You're like the Scarface of spices. Dude, all right, I don't know what's gonna happen. Something crazy might happen, and if it does, we're gonna have to go from there. I really don't have a plan. Yeah, that's awesome. Dude, I know Scarface was a little bitch. Son of a bitch! Hey, I like your shoes. Dude, it's the same thing over and over again, all right? I sneeze and it's like timers are winding. What? All right, dude, you asked Kelly Moss to go with us to Barnaby's on Saturday. She said no, big surprise. Now you're pissed off. We're not going to Barnaby's and we're just gonna drink at your place like we always do. How the hell, what? All right, when I sneeze, my entire day starts over, okay? This is the third time we've met in the library on Wednesday. What? Stop saying what. Okay, okay, so, okay, I get it. So when you sneeze, your day starts over again. Yeah. What? Dude, I don't know, okay? I sneeze, I wake up, and I have to start the day over. I get ready and everything. It's like I said, for the third time, we've met in the library. Today. So, like Groundhog Day. What? Bill Murray, Groundhog Day, you know? No, I don't, I've never seen that. What, you've never seen it? It's a classic. God. <laughs> oh, please. How do you know? Because it's not possible. Doris. More than anything else in her life, she wants to see Paris before she dies. Oh, boy, what I... <laughs> this is Debbie Kleiser and her fiancé, Fred. Do I know you? They're supposed to be getting married this afternoon, but Debbie is having second thoughts. What? Lovely ring. This hey. is Bill. He's been a waiter for three years since he left Penn State. Classic movie, dude. But it got me thinking. So what happens if you don't sneeze in a day? I don't know, man. I mean, I, I assume I go through my day normally, but any other day. You can do whatever you want. What do you mean? Come on, you saw Bill Murray. Yeah. He stews that chick like it was nothing. You hit on a girl, she doesn't like it, you sneeze, and give her another shot. It's like Groundhog Day, but you can control it. I mean, I guess so, Jeff, but... This could be a superpower, or like a genetic phenomenon. I mean, I could really do some good with this. I hear you, Damon. I really do. But this isn't your local PBS. You're a man in college. And if you don't use this to your advantage now, you may never get another chance. People would kill to have a reset button on life. So you got any ideas or what? Actually, I do. I'm trying to sneeze tonight. Ten minutes late for the midterm. I knew we should have finished Jurassic Park The Lost World last night. Yeah, dude, I think I'm gonna give today another shot. To complete. No one leave the room until the period is over. Uh, not trying to get an F on this midterm, especially not from Dr. Ramirez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's have some fun with this. Once you finish the test, bring it down to my desk. If I don't have it by one o'clock, you will receive a zero. Shit, Doc. I've never felt so disrespected in my life. Oh, 
dude, that felt great. Dude, that was incredible. I was honestly scared for my life. You were insane. But hey, we should probably go because I think someone called the police. It was that bad? It was pretty bad. Every single one of them, yep. Dude, you went down pretty hard. My ass is broken. Let's take my few things real quick, right? Great with the girls. I got great grades now. Sweet. And I haven't fallen on my ass in public in ages. You really had to bring that up, didn't you? Sorry, man. Really, though? I appreciate you being there for me for all this, you know? I was freaking out at the beginning, but you really helped me through it. I did what any friend would do, bud. Thanks, man. But I gotta go to class, so I'll catch you later. Sounds great. All right, class, please bring your assignments to my desk. After that, we'll get started.